You know, there's a lot of great places to hike here in the Temecula Valley, but one of my absolute favorites is Tanaha Falls. Let's go check it out. I've been selling real estate here for over 20 years, and while I'm out and about, I take pride in showcasing the coolest things about where we live. I'm Brian Auer, and this is Along the Road to Temecula Valley. Tanaha Falls is a great hike, but I must say that the drive-in is equally exhilarating. From the moment you turn on to Cleveland Forest Road, you'll feel like you're in a world that's yet to be discovered. Twisting, turning, carefully traversing under smog-free skies that seem to collide with sprawling hillsides peppered with craggy rock formations and dense sage beneath majestic oak trees. It's really something. As you arrive, you'll find plenty of parking and a clearly marked trailhead with an area map and a place to sign in before you begin. The trailhead shares a starting point with another trail called Fisherman's Camp, but everything is so well marked that you'll never need to wonder if you're on the right path. And it's only a 1.5 mile round trip out and back adventure with a nice mix of terrain. For the most part, this trail is pretty easy to navigate. You'll find some pretty hard pack conditions as well as some ruddy conditions, but I found that if you're just taking your time and you're kind of soaking in the views anyway, you'll have no problem with the footing. It's a pretty easy trail. The rustic beauty of this area is stunning and appears to be unaffected by its visitors. And the old growth surrounding the trail offers great shade. In several places, the trail is covered by a complete canopy of trees. As you work your way up, there's a lot of places where you can sort of turn out and peer over the edge and look at the valley, making this a beautiful hike, even if the water's not flowing. To be perfectly honest, Tanaha Falls doesn't really show off its main attraction very often because it requires heavy, sustained rainfall to come alive. But don't let that stop you from coming out here to the great outdoors. You can still enjoy great views of the fall's edge and be graced by a beautiful array of native plants and wild animals. You can still enjoy the trails while breathing in some fresh air and, oh, did I mention the exhilarating drive you'll experience on the way in? Of course I did. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Along the Road to Temecula Valley. I'll catch you on the next one.